man makes man m a n n man makes the statement about death. It's a uh, curious. I'm not sure if I agree with that. The machine doesn't improvise well because you can't program a fear of death. All right, so he's saying that you can improvise well when you have a good fear of death. Mm -hmm. So I terrified a raccoon this morning, and his improv improvisation skills were incredible. That's right. That's right. He started, he stood up and did some like miming stuff, like freestyle miming. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll give you yeah. some snacks now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you, if you really, so, say you're having trouble with some sort of physics theory, mm -hmm. you know, just <laughs> scare the bejesus out of yourself somehow. That's right. And you'd be like, damn That's it, right. I got it. That's right. Because if I, I <laughs> If I'm like at a comedy club and I'm going to do some stand up, it's like there's got to be a guy behind the stage who's going to shoot me, going to poison me. Like, okay, I got I to get a comedy right now. <laughs> got to get an right. improv right now. If you, if you go to an improv um, studio or whatever mm -hmm. play, then everybody's actually terrified on on screen on stage. That's how all it works. those all those jazz musicians, <laughs> they're they're all under death of threat of death. You don't, you don't have an awesome solo, kick-ass licks. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not feeding you. Right. That, is that why I'm bad at jazz? That's right. Because I haven't tasted the fear of death? That's right. You need to have high stakes. High stakes on you at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Every moment in your life should be, I do this or I die. <laughs> what the heck? Yep. That's what he said. That's what he said.